Hey guys, this is Unit 4, Video 6, about the atomic radius periodic trend. So at this point in the unit, all the groundwork is laid for kind of how the periodic table is laid out. Now we're going to start going to look at five specific trends um, that you will be asked about on the regions, kind of different characteristics that uh, elements have, and a lot of this information is actually found in Table S in your reference packet. Um, in Lab 12 over here, when you get to the, when we get to that, you guys will actually be graphing some of those trends um, and kind of taking a look at all the different data. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so you have that data um, given to you, so you don't have to memorize it. But we got to know kind of the general trend, kind of what's happening in general, and that's what these five videos are going to be talking about. So they're going to be a little bit shorter videos, which you're probably happy about, um, and then you'll be able to answer questions about those. Um, and when you get through these last five, then you'll be at the end of the unit, and you can start working on the review packet and getting ready for your unit summary quiz. So let's jump right in. And let's start talking about atomic radius. Uh, so we will be over here on page 17. All right, and I tried to put some pictures in here for each, and we'll kind of go through and talk about those. So um, basically, atomic radius, you'll see me abbreviate it as AR. A lot of these I'll have abbreviations for. Um, it means half the distance between uh, neighboring nuclei of a given element. So basically, guys, it's from the nucleus to the outermost electron. Okay, that's what we're looking at for atomic radius. Um, so this is kind of the general idea. It's not every element on the periodic table, but it shows the general trends. All right, so every single trend that we talk about is going to have two different um, ways we're going to think about it. We're going to talk about the group trend, and we're going to talk about a period trend. And we're going to kind of uh, identify which one is more important for each individual trend. Okay, so either the group, meaning going up and down, so vertical, or period would be left to right, would be horizontal. So vertical again is a, ver uh, I'm sorry, group trend is a vertical trend, and the period trend would be uh, horizontal. So atomic radius, and you can kind of see um, they've shown to, not to, pretty much, pretty close to scale, um, but more general kind of what's happening so for atomic radius the important one and I'm gonna highlight the more important one I would encourage you guys to as well the group trend is going to be the most important here with atomic radius so why might that be okay um, because we're adding energy levels it's as simple as that okay so radius is dealing with distance okay so if you add a new you know lap around a track it's going to be a larger distance that you're going to have to go so if i have one element let's say this is hydrogen okay and then i go down a group we know that you know as you go down you add energy levels oh look my distance went from heat uh, let me use a different color my distance went from here all the way to here. So you can just see, obviously, that hey, that's a bigger distance. So the atomic radius is increasing as you go down. If we added another energy level, same thing, our radius just got bit bigger. Okay, so that's what this is showing us as we go down. Look, it goes from small, bigger, and then it gets bigger as you go down to the bottom of a group. Okay, um, so don't overthink that. And there's going to be a little... Um, trick that I can show you in person. Can't really do it on the video um, using your arms to kind of help you remember it. So <clears throat> we're adding an energy level to the outside of the atom, uh, which then causes the atom to take up more space. Okay, so this is the more important trend with atomic radius. It may not always be the case with the other ones that we talk about, but with atomic radius, as you go down, the group trend is more important than the, um, the period trend. Now, there is still a period trend, and as you can see this, so you go from you know over here with your alkali metals all the way over there to the right with your noble gases, what's happening? Well, you can see that the sizes are getting smaller, so um, atomic radius decreases as you go from left to right. And the reason for that is the nuclear charge is increasing. Again, don't overthink what nuclear charge means. It just means that you have more charge in the nucleus. Well, what are you adding to the nucleus as you go from left to right? 
you're adding protons. So think about it. You're making that positive center much stronger. It starts pulling in those negative electrons more, okay, making it smaller. So think about it like you're building a bigger magnet to pull those electrons in tighter and tighter. You still have the same number of energy levels as you go from left to right, so there's no increase in the shielding, okay? So you still have a tighter pull or a stronger pull on those outer electrons because you're not adding energy levels, okay? So atomic radius, just to recap, right? <clears throat> as you go down a group, it, the, the atomic radius increases. As you go from left to right, it decreases, all right? So down a group, increase. Left to right, decrease.